Hi and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I recently acquired some, I guess you call them thumb controller caps, because I ordered some of these for a project I'm working on, and that's the little joysticky things. And they claim to be compatible with the Xbox 360 and PlayStation, so seemingly something quite standard and came along with a bunch of these which is great great for my project i can move on with it however i did notice recently while working on a, an xbox video that this particular controller that one of my kids get me is a bit mashed up so i thought why not try to see if these actually fit i mean they do look a little bit wee a little bit smaller but they do seem that they would fit and then we can have a quick look to see just how compatible these things actually are so I've got the screwdriver set here with me, however we do need security bits so I'm hoping uh, maybe a T15, probably a T10, I'm going to use this motorised doohickey if, if I may to get in there. I have had trouble before getting into these Xbox controllers, not really sure how I've managed to do it. There we go. So. So I'll probably be posting a video about the other project I'm working on that's using those, but not for a while. Now it looks like I've been in here before because this screw here was actually undone. And it's quite fortunate really that we're only changing these thumb, thumb do these uh, because there's not really too much you can do inside an Xbox controller. I've noticed these modern controllers, especially things like Switch, crikey, if anything goes wrong with electronics, you're absolutely stuffed. You, you know, fortunately though, there seem to be a lot of spares for all of them in the market. So let's start splitting this. Now, they are not cheap either. I've um, been picking up controllers over the years when I see them cheap, especially like the Xbox One. Um, if you remember a while back, I did a, a video on Xbox One Elite controller, and those were apparently were crazy expensive. I mean, I got it next to nothing because it was broke, but uh, I'm very glad I got it working because there was comments. There was comments actually in the video, and they were saying, "Look how he treats he treats that thing as if it's not a 150 pound controller." I was like, "Oh, I had no idea it was." Now let's see how compatible these look. Well, I mean, that's pretty much spot on, isn't it? You can definitely imagine that fitting in there quite nicely. I mean, I mean they feel pretty much the same, you've got the same kind of clip. So this is the actual caps you get, or the standard one, and you can see this kit I've got, they, they're kind of similar but not quite. I mean you've got a bit more of a grip action going on. I do like the texture here, if you see on the right it's got a bit more texture, but it definitely seems Oh no, it does seem a bit smaller, I have to admit it does seem a bit smaller. So let's try it, shall we? I mean, I've got nothing to lose. Now I don't know if we want to do something interesting with the colours. Um, we could do a green one here. Oh, will it fit? Yes. Maybe a blue one here. That'll make it a bit more interesting, won't it? Oh, and there's the little antenna right there. Hmm, never noticed that before. Try not to dismantle the whole thing. Now I, I picked up an Xbox once and it came with a control controllers um, buttons look like bullets, which was quite a novelty. Um, now I'm wondering if I've done this wrong. I think you've got to kind of assemble it all from the front. <laughs> so, so there it blows my uh, aim of doing this as a quick and dirty thing which means that the whole PCB as well is going to have to come out with it. Oh yes it does, gosh. Thank you to all the people who are probably shouting at the video and I was telling people it apart going, don't do it that way, don't do it that way. Not to worry, it's not that big a deal. Right, and then we can put the motors in, your rumblers and your tumblers, and then this bit probably goes in. A bit like one of those puzzles. Speaking of puzzles, um, it's Christmas soon, and uh, I'm looking forward to the latest batch of wound wire puzzles that you get in the Christmas crackers. Um, I've not seen a new one, a new novel design in all my years. 
However, I live in hope. Right, so we've just got to get these springs in nicely, because if you don't get the battery springs in, it's a bad time all round for everybody, isn't it? Come on now. That's it. That's it. Well, do they work? I'm not convinced, actually. They don't work. <laughs> They don't work. Why don't they work though? It's weird. They're, they're quite crunchy and the click really isn't clicking. Um, that's quite fascinating actually, isn't it? I'm going to dismantle it again the wrong way. Well, that, that would be a disappointment, wouldn't it? Maybe they... Yeah, it's because they're actually touching here. It's like they've totally bottomed out. Let's see if there's any difference in length of that shaft. Um, arguably they're about the same. However here, yeah, you can see they definitely work and you can click them. And on the Xboxer, Rooney. No, they do not. Well, I will be blown over with a feather. That's actually fascinating. I'm almost tempted to take these out just to go full hog and replace them with those just to see if I can make them work. Because that would be a totally pointless endeavour, wouldn't it, on an otherwise completely working Xbox controller? <laughs> I like that uh, I kind of did a cut there as if it's like, you know, mm, I'm going to leave it there. And then the next, the next scene, the next clip, you'd see me tearing into that like a monkey on a cupcake. But absolutely not. Look at all this bloody plastic on the back. I would have done it, you know, I'm always like tempted to just do it. But crikey, what do I have to dismantle to get to the bloody thing? I... Oh, gee, jeepers, jeepers. I feel like now I'm even probing these to just go, well, maybe I will still do it just for the giggles. You know, even instead of just going to bed or uh, doing anything else with my time. Uh, let's have a quick look, shall we? Just a quick look. It's just investigating, that's all it is. Oh, man, there's actually quite a lot of mechanisms here, isn't there? You definitely... Uh, have an opportunity to make a bloody mess of this. How do you get this apart? So you can see there's actually an actuator there because it, it isn't just uh, on off, it is a uh, got values. It's almost feeling like you have to desolder that to get to that. <sighs> you proved your point, you could have gone to bed could have edited the video just to sort of skirt around the thing and just say, well, it doesn't work, don't bother trying it. I've tried it for you. But no, I had to go one further and dismantle your controller. Which, if history has taught me anything, may end up broken now. For what? I think I've even got spare actual proper caps anyway. <laughs> But no, we must know. We must find out. For one day, the proper caps might run out of stock and then we will have to always use these wrong ones. Right, so I've taken out that mechanism. Let's put that aside. Oh, now how many of these things do I actually have to unsolder? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is that, a fourteen? Fourteen bloody desoldering things. Fine. So filthy, actually, as well. This has seen some stuff. I would have just, I could have been playing some Red Faction Gorilla. That's what I'd been lined up for tonight. Hey, okay. we'll get it off. I've always wanted to know, though, you know, really how tricky it is to get one of these off. I've never actually seen one broken, to be honest. 
Um, the only things I've seen them really worn out on are things like N64s, and I'm pretty sure they're their own thing. I don't think these would be compatible with that. Although, if you were making a N64 ah, replacement joystick, I think you'd definitely be wise to base it on these because they're so obtainable, aren't they? As third party replacements. It does make me wonder if there's any kind of patent situation going on with them. What? There we go. Now, these ones are on the actual edge of the. on the ground plane. And uh, they, they need an awful lot of, of heat. You might need a bigger iron. We're going to need a bigger iron. Okay, let's come back to that one. Okay, that's all sucked out now. Let's give it a little ginger test. Oh, most are coming off, actually. Oh, no, there it goes. Right, let's do a click test first. Yeah, both click in the right kind of ways. Obviously, the one on the left feels a bit firmer, but it is new. Yeah, it's fine, okay. So let's pop in the new one. I wonder if I found anything new, weird with it. You know, like it won't have the same range of motion. <laughs> it's totally different resistances, so it'll just not sender or something. Right, I'm gonna just tack solder some of those posts, the big posts in the corner. That way it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's pretty much locked in now. So far it feels okay, but does it take the clicky hat of fun? Yeah, it certainly seems to. Right, let's persevere. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty confident that these will take the old-fashioned hats anyway. Oh, oh, they, they don't. Oh, they do. Yeah. So even if you had to, you could just use the old regular hats. And I'm just going to check in, make sure it's sitting flush, which it absolutely isn't, believe it or not, it isn't sitting flush. That was lucky. <laughs> I didn't solder that in anymore. There we go. That was really sitting quite proud. That would be much better. Okay, let's zoom in because it's time to solder. It's time to flow. You'll notice that the little variable resistors, they're not poking through quite as much. So you don't have as much leg to work with. So just take your time to make sure that solder has flown in and around them in an appropriate manner. Oh, 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 bridge those. I did notice when taking the old ones off, actually, that uh, I was applying new solder to them and, and it was they were quite easy to bridge. So that's probably something you should look out for anyway. Right. But not a big deal. There we go, another two more, we're done. I say another two more, it's actually another three after this, isn't it? Because we have to put the sky back on. So I wonder if this one's available in a similar kind of assembly. There we go, so that's clicked on. Do 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 go yeah boys whoops whoops building a little bridge there a bridge too far right let's pop it all back together shall we It's working, it's working. No, I keep forgetting this piece. I might do a mashup one day of uh, different color Xbox controllers and uh, mix and match to make the ultimate. Okay, 
Ah, oh, yeah, don't put that in before you put your knob ends on or whatever they're called. Right, I'm going to put a regular Xbox One here. And I'm going to go, I think I'm just going to go with the grey because it will look kind of stock then, won't it? No, that's too boring. No, <laughs> let's be boring. <laughs> I've got to live with it after all, and it will annoy me potentially if it's, oh, that's the wrong colour. Don't get me wrong, I would consider doing it, but if, only if I changed both of the little joystick doohickeys. Okay, so we've got that in there, we've got that in there, before I put it all together, look, it is there. It's got a weird feel. Oh, you know why? Again, look there. The button is actually touching. You can see it's touching. In fact, it's stuck there. Nope, this is not gonna. Yeah, what's this one? New analog sticks Xbox 360. So I did actually have some actual parts. Do 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 do. Let's see what's got in here. Well, this is another different looking mechanism, totally, isn't it? Uh, it's not even the same footprint. It's actually quite a bit tinier. So I don't really know what that's from. It says, uh, "Oh, PS4." So that's from a PS4, that one. So it does have these thumb doolies. And I don't know if they're more like the original. Okay, no, they are different. So perhaps that's what these thumbsticks are. are the caps are from PS4. We're learning so much stuff that we don't really need to know about. Um, so, yeah, you got to be careful. I didn't know there was even different sizes of those these things. I mean, it's fascinating that there are and they exist, but... Why? Why do they need to exist? <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is just put the same buttons back, but I'm going to put the slightly damaged one on the right hand side, which I could have done right away, rather than embark on this pointless adventure that I've uh, taken you on with me. And I'd be amazed if uh, you've managed to stick with me this far and you haven't tuned out to go watch, um, I don't know, Anybody else? Backyard scientist, I, I think he's probably worth a watch. Um, pretty much anything, to be honest. I quite like Danny Gonzalez. Do you ever watch Danny Gonzalez? Or I did a thing? Or is it I made a thing? I, mean, I, I, I do have a very short attention span when it comes to the name of YouTube channels because they're so. You know, they only, they're, they're very vapid, aren't they? You, they, they come across into your attention span and then one second they're gone again and you're watching something else. I got quite uh, into the uh, ghost town guy who's living in Cerro Gordo. I, I learned a lot about Cerro Gordo and then I um, and then I just put it aside. I mean I had my own Cerro Gordo type adventures you see because during Covid of course we all had to uh, effectively live in a ghost town. <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird, isn't it, how that's all gone now? Covid is just its just a thing, we don't even talk about it, it's so random. It's so bizarre that you had uh, a couple of years of your life where that was just all about that. Plus, you know, there was a lot of politics and bullshit going on as well. And then um, now it's all gone and we're all back to just not washing our hands and, and touching fruit in the shop. It's, it's amazing. Right. Well, I'm about to go and try this on an Xbox, and I shall report back if it just feels totally normal, and uh, you'll have learnt something. I'm not sure what we'll have learnt. We'll have learnt that the tops are for PlayStation 4s, the bottoms are not PlayStation 4s, that's something else, and I bought them, but I don't know what for used them. Um, clearly it was part of a set, so I'd fix something with them, and I don't have PlayStation, so maybe it's also used on a Xbox One, but I'll go give this thing a go and I'll tell you.
Yep, totally normal. So, if you want to repair them, the cheap things you get on Amazon will probably do the trick. Thank you for watching.